What's up, guys? Big Wedge TJ here. Again, kind of the different view than you guys are used to. Um, I told you guys I might make a video about uh, how to get my background and how you get my, uh, you know, jailbroken application set. What, what exactly what the set is? Sorry, I got my microfiber from Bodyguards in my hand. Still using this thing. It works pretty well. Um, I kind of disappointed today. There's a little update for you guys. My uh, Switch Easy screen protector got a scratch on a big gouge. Which uh, I did not think was going to happen. You know, thought it was you know pretty good quality, which which it is. I mean, it did last for a little while, but well, I wasn't expecting a scratch that easy. So I did have to install a new one. Um, this is the crystal, so you guys can see it better. It does give a kind of a glare on my computer screen. You guys can kind of tell. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So this background right here is called Best Clear Lock Screen. Search that on um. Excuse me, search that on Winterboard and you'll see this. It, uh, the entire thing is clear, including this. Um, if, if you guys have the normal, you know that this is kind of dark, and this is dark also, and this would be green. But um, through this, it's all clear, so you can definitely get a good view of your background. And what my set really does is provide you with a great view of your background, which really lets others know your creativity, kind of your sense of style, that kind of stuff. Just, just lets them know about you and what you're into. So uh, right here on the sides, I... Have a little something different too. These are all my folders, and uh, this is my Quick Tab apps: um, weather settings, mo news, maps, mail, and calendar. All right, and uh, you can do all that through a program called Categories, which I'm going to go ahead and show you right here. This is another folder. All right. I hope this. I hope I can get this video in the time frame. But um, through this application, Categories which uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick here. Uh, you can make all these in all these uh, different folders. So um, what I did is I made a games folder, a work for folder, media, social folder, and then a miscellaneous folder. And I put all my applications into these folders. And hold on, I'll show you real quick my uh, work folder. Mine as well. It's got App Store City, Installer, Maps, Calendar, Mail, all this kind of stuff, okay? It's my work folder. Um... And what you do is you just, it's easy as add and then find an app from the list, from the list of your home screen. So that's what I did. And then I made this final Apple folder and, um, you know, put all these applications into that. Put the games, work, media, social, and misc folders into this one folder. That way my home screen is, as you guys can see, completely blank besides the Apple logo. And I just named that folder period. That way there wasn't a big word down there. You guys can kind of see that period, I hope. But um, that's how I did that. Uh, this theme right here with all the clear icons is called Vivid. And as you guys can see, if, well, hold on, let me, it, won't, it wouldn't work that way, but, yeah, all these icons that are clear, this is called Vivid. And you can get this through the App Store, or through Cydia. You just go and type in Vivid and you'll see this. But in order to get these folders, you have to type, well, when you type in Vivid, you'll see Vivid folders or Vivid categories. And that's what these are. These are the vivid categories. This is specifically for folders while using the categories application. You also had to have to download, excuse me, the extra category um, folders, the extra category icons, which will show up when you type. If you go into Cydia and you type in folders, you'll get um, you'll get categories. Categories will pop up. Okay. And through that, you'll get the categories, and then another link will go to the categories icons, extra icons, and that's where this Apple is located, is in those extra icons. Um, <clears throat> another thing I have is this five icon dock, which you guys see, Safari, iPod, my camera application, Byte SMS, and then my phone. And I've showed you guys Byte SMS, which is where, turn the phone to the side. But um, through Byte SMS... I'm currently using 2.2, by the way, and I'll go ahead and do a review on that tonight as well, or maybe tomorrow. But, um, I am sick right now, guys. Excuse my, uh, stuffy nose, my weird voice. I know it's, you know, stupid and annoying, but what can I say? <coughs> you see this keyboard. It's called the Mac Air keyboard. And, um, you go into city and you look at themes, and it'll say complete themes, or, you know, different stuff like that, but this is the keyboard theme. Uh, it works really well in my opinion. I really like it. I like the uh, look of that. So that's what I go for there, and it works with all your applications. That keyboard will show up whenever you use Safari. It works with me when I use Twitterific or Twitter or Twinkle. You know, whatever those gay names are <laughs> that really are gay sounding. But um, 
So that's that. That's pretty much everything. And then you just use your own user background through Winterboard, which allows you to do that. So hold on, let me just pull up Winterboard real quick here, and I'll show you guys exactly all that I'm using right now. And that, I believe, is in media. And this will just go ahead and give you guys a visual look of what the applications are that I'm using. So go ahead and open Winterboard here. And uh, here you go. So I got the user wallpaper, which is, you have to put that at the top, okay? You have to, it's really easy to move to the top. I didn't know this either. You just click on this little side thing here, and you move it, okay? But if your user wallpaper is not at the top, if it's below Vivid at all, Vivid, Vivid will use its own wallpaper, which kind of resembles the original Mac wallpaper with, like, the galaxy expanding kind of look. I don't know really how to describe that, but um, it'll go ahead and show that. So um, make sure that you have your own user wallpaper. I got the best clear lock screen, MacBook Air keyboard, Vivid, and then the Vivid 5 icon dock, black navigation bars. Yeah. Okay. And that whole theme goes along with what I'm doing here. And uh, <clears throat> the other application that you're going to need in order to um, have this little sunburst thing like I'm doing right here so that you can access your icons easily this way, um, which this isn't really showing up. There you go. Is uh, right here. I'll go ahead and show you that guy that real quick. Excuse me. It'll probably be in work. <clears throat> I did just do 2.2 today. Um, my problem was not my cell phone bar, my cell phone reception. It was that I deleted um, a few main applications from the iPhone through OpenSSH that I didn't feel I needed, such as mobile timer, um, notes. Uh, address book, stuff like that that I didn't need, just taking them space, and it screws up your phone, so don't do that. You're going to have to reformat everything, so just keep that in mind. This application is called DocPrefs, and what this allows you to do is um, <clears throat> do exactly what I was doing through the sunbursts. Also, when you go along the bottom like this, which, I don't know, there it is. All right, here's all your uncategorized, uncategorized applications right here. All right, and then uh, you can access these applications through any other application that you're currently in. So what you're going to do if you're going to do what I did and put your applications in categories is make sure that your show hidden apps is on. Also enable dock. I don't like the line glow, which is like a little line down here. It makes it look like the iPhone got damaged. I don't know. So I go ahead and choose to turn that off. But go ahead and categorize your applications inside of here as well. So all you do to do that is say media iTunes. Say I don't want Winterboard in media anymore. I want it in foam. Just go ahead and do that. That easy. So guys, that's pretty much how to get my background. And um, you can change your background to whatever picture you want. I mean, it's all up to you. This is to show off your kind of creativity. And you guys can see that you can see the roots of the tree through these vivid icons that are clear. So I really like this. It, it does let you kind of uh, personalize your iPhone, show it off kind of what, what you're all about. So Make sure to go check that out, guys. Uh, I'll go ahead and make my impressions a 2.2 video and stuff like that. Get in the giveaway. Sunday it ends, midnight. So just keep updating. Keep, keep reminding you guys. So make sure to get in that, all right? It's Big Wedge signing out. I'll go ahead and talk to you guys later. Peace.